My dear children, Auntie hopes and prays that you are all keeping well and are having a wonderful Sunday. And Auntie prays that this week will be another wonderful week for all of you all. So, today our lesson is about being wise and being safe, right? So, to understand a bit more about our lesson for today, let's head into our Bible passage first, right? Have you all heard of the book of Proverbs? Yes, I am sure you all must have heard right of the book of proverbs it is a book full of wisdom and wise sayings right so if any of us reads the book of proverbs we will learn such a lot of advice that we can take for our lives right and things that we can all live by so a bible passage is taken from proverbs today right and the book of proverbs is in the old testament proverbs chapter 3 verses 21 and 22 is where our reading is taken from so let's see what it says my child do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Right? So here it says, right, children, my child, the uh, proverb says, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. That is, always keep it within your sight, keep it within you, right? And preserve sound judgment and discretion. So, know how to judge what is right and what is wrong, right? Um, and keep yourself uh, safe, right? Uh, discretion is what you say and uh, who you speak to is something that you have to uh, be mindful of, right? And here it also says that it will be like a necklace for you. What does that mean? What do we wear on our necks? Chains or necklaces, right? Correct. But why do we wear it? Because it is something beautiful, right? Most ladies wear it. Most girls wear them, right? For special occasions sometimes, right? It's because it's beautiful. It's nice. We want to show it off. But also, it is very precious to us, right? It might be expensive or not. But it's something that we care about a lot. And so, the proverb says that that is how we should treat our wisdom and our understanding and our good judgment, right? That we it should be something that is important to us, that we keep close to ourselves and uh, that is uh, something that we should always treasure in our lives, right? Our wisdom, right? So now talking about wisdom, what do you understand from wisdom, right? Wisdom does not mean uh, the things that you study in your books alone. It is also about being wise in how you go about doing things, right? In the world around you, in your homes, being wise with the people you interact with, right? Our world can be quite a scary place. And so we should be all wise children of God in who we make friends with, right? Are our friends a good influence in our lives? Uh, do we go uh, with our friends to places that are sometimes not safe for us, right? Uh, do your friends have friends who are sometimes uh, not uh, safe as in they might be a bit too old for your age or they might be uh, doing things that are not necessarily safe uh, or to be around them, right? So you have to use your wisdom, right, uh, in decisions like this. What about when people visit your home, right? Uh, be mindful, right? Keep uh, to yourself, don't be very outspoken and also keep uh, your eye out on your brothers and sisters, right? Who might be sometimes younger than you, right? And keep them safe as well because sometimes uh, we don't know, right? The people who sometimes even visit our house sometimes might be people we know or might be people we don't know. But we should treat them with respect, yes, but we should also be mindful of who they are, right? And uh, these are some things that we should keep in mind. What about like when you travel in the road, using public transport, when you're in public places, always be mindful of the people around you. If you're going out with your friends, you know, tell your parents where you're going, uh, keep in touch with your parents so that they know you are safe. Because like Andy said, right, our world is a scary place. There can be 
uh, people who do wrong things who are around uh, in society as well right there can be things that happen to you accidentally so it's always good to take care of yourself take an extra step to be careful right well saying these things also let's have a look at a few other uh, tips of how we can keep ourselves safe so what are some practical ways that we can keep ourselves safe of course there are things such as taking care of ourselves when we are on the roads like looking both ways when we are crossing and paying attention to the color lights right that are on the road and all other road signs right and uh, paying attention right not looking at uh, our phones maybe if we have phones in our hands holding the hands of our parents or our elders right and simply paying attention also another way that we can be safe is to see or to look around using our eyes if a situation is safe or not right so we can look and recognize if it is a safe situation right uh, are the rules being broken um, are children being safe do i feel safe right so such questions you can ask yourself and recognize the situation first of all right and then if we feel unsafe we must report it right or tell it to someone that we trust a trusted adult or an adult in that area right saying that uh, there is something wrong here or i don't feel safe here or uh, somebody something has happened to someone or this area or situation isn't safe and next is to refuse or to say the words no or stop right saying no i don't want to do this or no i will not go here or no i don't want to uh, take part or do what you are saying right so in these three steps you can keep yourself safe in almost every situation right if you don't want to go somewhere with your friends you can say no right if you don't want to do something for somebody who is asking you to do something you can say no right and of course telling your parents uh what is happening or if you don't feel safe right because you shouldn't keep secrets from your parents right you should always uh tell your parents uh, if you feel unsafe right because if somebody asks you to tell a secret that is not something good we should always share what happens in our day-to-day -day life where we go who we spend time with we should be able to tell our parents right what we did so in this way you must remember to remember what your boundaries are and if you feel uncomfortable in any situation you can move away and then tell an adult if you want to as well so Andy hopes that these uh, tips that you just saw in the slides will be helpful to you. Uh, also, uh, keep in mind the things that you just saw and how you can keep yourself and your friends and your family safe as well, right? Especially as we go about, right? And now, with that said, let's head into our chorus time. One star night, King Solomon had a dream. God said that he could have anything he pleased. Emeralds, rubies, diamonds, as far as he could see. But he only needed just one thing. God will give us wisdom. That is what we need. Help for every problem. 
I hope you enjoyed the chorus. And now let's do a small craft activity based on what we learnt today. So let's head in and see what it is. So for our craft activity, I used a cardboard, right? That's around this much in length. And auntie covered it with normal white A4 paper, right? And then auntie did this on the other side. It's a bookmark, right? So ways to stay safe. So like the slides we just saw uh, remind us, right, how to keep ourselves safe. We have to use our eyes to see if the situation is safe, if the place is safe, uh, if we feel that the person is safe or not. So we have to use our eyes to first see if uh, the situation is safe, right? And if it is not safe, what do you do? You have to use your mouth and use your voice and speak out. You know, tell somebody uh, something's happening or this place is not safe, I don't feel safe, etc. And then you can also use your words to uh, say stop or no, or you can use your hand to say no, I don't want to do this, right? Or, no, I will not go there, right? So, you can use your words to say a uh, stop or no or your hands, right? To say uh, no, that you will not be doing uh, what they want you to do, right? So, this is a bookmark, a fun and creative bookmark to help us remember what we learned today. So, these, of course, are just uh, cut out and pasted together. And you can do it in any creative way that you can to help you remember what we learned today. So I hope the craft activity was fun and enjoyable and I hope that it also serves as a reminder, right, to what we learned today and about how we should use our wisdom and our knowledge and our understanding that God has given us, right, to keep uh, ourselves and the people we love safe. And also remember that if you feel that, oh no, I don't know, I don't think I can uh, be this wise or I don't know if the decisions that I make are correct. How do I know if the decisions I make are correct? And if you are concerned about these things, you can always pray and ask God, right? Because he freely gives to those who ask. Pray to God and ask for wisdom and he is sure to provide you with it, right? With that said, let's all join our hands and pray. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful Sunday that you have given us. Dear Lord, we thank you for the lessons that we learned today. We especially pray that you will grant each and every one of us wisdom, Father, that you will bless us and guide us always on the correct path to make the right decisions. Help us to be wise children of God and to always be mindful and concerned for the people around us. Help us to be helpful to those we meet and to be there for our friends and our family in times of need. Jesus, we pray for our beautiful country. We pray for our families, our friends and everybody we love. We now pray all this in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson as much as Auntie enjoyed giving it and sharing it out with you today. So I hope that you take this lesson to heart and you uh, remember and go through the lesson once again uh, to keep in mind the things that you learned especially. And Auntie hopes that you have a beautiful and blessed week ahead. So till Auntie sees you next week again with another amazing Sunday School lesson and Bible story. Please take care of yourselves. Be obedient to your parents and your guardians. And remember that Jesus loves each and every one of you very, very much. God bless, take care, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.